Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually going to be doing a book review today. I said in the beginning of the year that I wanted to try to do more of these and I didn't. I actually kind of failed in that. But this book is so bad, I have to talk about it. So last year what I wanted to try to do, we make a big deal here on booktube about reading uh, Halloween themed books for October and Christmas themed books for December. We don't talk about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is definitely one of the more I was going to say the least favorite holiday in this time of year, but yeah, it kind of is. I know a lot of people are about Thanksgiving and not necessarily Christmas, but you don't really see any of those people. Be that as, uh, as it may, I wanted to try to read more Thanksgiving themed stuff. So this year I read Turkey Trot Murder by Leslie Meyer. It's actually one of the first cozy mysteries that I've read in a long time. This is the Lucy Stone mystery. I guess that there is quite the series out there and quite the following. Uh, this is number 24 out of all the like Lucy Stone books that are out there. And I was told that I could read this as a standalone. And they're right, I could, I, like I was able to read this as a standalone and not get lost in like all the other characters. So the overall story is this, Lucy Stone is training for the turkey trot. It's a race that happens during Thanksgiving and Lucy is training for this particular race. Um, while she's out running, she come across as a body. The body is actually the daughter of a well-known wealthy man uh, in this tiny town. Uh, the daughter had fallen through the ice and she had drowned. Uh, people are very confused as to why she would go out in the ice because it's pretty well known that at this pond, the ice is really, it's really sneaky. It looks like it's super thick, but it's not. So people people know to avoid this pond and not going out on the ice, which makes people really confused, like why on earth would she go out there? And so it's just assumed that because the, the small town has an opioid uh, epidemic that, oh, she must've been on drugs and she, that's why she went on the ice. But there was no evidence of it, none. In fact, in the beginning of the book, when everybody was making this outrageous claim, all the cops kept saying, autopsy isn't completed yet, there's no evidence that she was on drugs, nothing has come back yet, please stop saying that. But it's just, it became like so common knowledge that people were like, yeah, this must be the case. And Lucy was the only person that went, eh, maybe, maybe not. I just was more mad that there was like, there was no evidence of anything and people just kept saying wild claims. As the story progresses, this girl's death kind of gets put to the wayside. Yeah, they kind of bring it up occasionally, but they never really bring it up again. In fact, the word murder doesn't even get involved until halfway through this book. The entire time people were like, yeah, this is an accident. So for a cozy mystery, a mystery novel, murder doesn't even get brought up until maybe three or four hours into this audiobook, because I listened to this as an audiobook. Like an old lady went, I don't think it was an accident, I think it was murder. And then people were like, oh, well that's silly, and then forget about it. Her dad then has to die for people to go, yeah, this was actually a murder. And even then they only focus on the dad as murder, but not the daughter. They kept insisting that the daughter was an accident and like cops wouldn't just ignore that. A lot of like the police stuff that happened in the book, Leslie Meyer, it just seemed like the way she wrote it, like the only information that she had about it is what she had seen from TV. There was a few things that happened when, well, cops wouldn't normally do that. Why Why did he put that in? Like the, the gun that kills the dad and makes it in between like the walls of this restaurant that's being built. And there's a lot, a, lot, a lot of racist stuff that's currently happening. There's a lot of like present day issues in the book, like build the wall, America for Americans. And there was like quite a bit of ethnic slurs directed towards uh, the Spanish people at this restaurant. Yeah, they call them Mexicans, but they weren't actually Mexican. So that's, a, yeah, that's how racist this town is. And then the cops went, well, the, the gun is obviously found at this restaurant, it must be the son. I'm like, yeah, but there's also the dad and the daughter at this restaurant. Why are you assuming it's the son? I feel like normal cops would actually do testing on the gun first before arresting the son. And the rest of the book was just like vague reporting on Lucy Stone's part. Lucy isn't really investigating. She interviews all these people, but she doesn't really find out anything that really like solves this mystery or solves this crime. That the villain, like the person who was committing these crimes, gave themselves the way at the end. Like this person tried killing a third person and Lucy had stumbled upon that. And when this got thwarted, this person was arrested and that person admitted to committing all these other murders. But there was no evidence, there was no build up to this, 
to this reveal. Like, Lucy had stumbled upon it. How is this a mystery? How is this solving anything? So the mystery itself was just a mess. Now the style of writing was not fun to listen to. Because this girl is assumed that she had taken drugs and that's why she made it out onto the ice, every couple pages there was a character that went, drugs are bad, oh my god, drugs? Every other page it was like that and I was like, you know what, stop it. I took dare, I did the dare program as a child and no drugs are bad, just, just stop. And for the first half of the book it seemed like it was a PSA not to do drugs. And the only thing the book had going for it, which is why I continued reading it, was the present day issues in the book. So there was a lot of racist bullshit that happens in the book. Because it was assumed that this girl died because of drugs, people kept saying, well, you know who's bringing drugs into the country? Mexicans. I just don't want to actually regurgitate a lot of this like racist So I'm not gonna. But basically it was assumed because, oh, it's... Mexicans bringing all this like crap into the country. It's the one like small Mexican family. Yeah, they call them Mexicans, but they weren't actually Mexican. In the town that's causing all of this. And so like this group of people started harassing this like small family. And I appreciate that the author included that because the a lot of members of the town went, no, stop this. We are better than that. America is full of immigrants. You need to stop this. So I want to see how the author had wrapped up this particular storyline. Because with everything that's going on right now, we need to have, we need to have content out there, whether uh, like in a book or in a movie. We need to let people know that this will not be tolerated here in America. So I wanted to see how the author dealt with this. And although I appreciate her saying, "Yeah, this is bad," it took, yeah. It took like an hour into the audiobook for any of the characters, including Lucy, who is our main character, to go, yeah, this is bad, racism is, racism is bad, xenophobia is bad, this, is, this will not be tolerated here. So I did not like the fact that it took a while for any of the characters to say anything. I actually almost DNF'd it because of that. I was like, you know what, no, I am not reading MAGA propaganda. But when she finally went, you know what, no, we are a country of immigrants, we need to stop this nonsense, I was like, all right, let's see how this plays out. And it plays out in a very much hallmark manner when it's revealed that it wasn't the Spanish family. They all get together at this restaurant and they have a big Thanksgiving dinner together. And at the end of the book, there was supposed to be this huge um, protest about anti-immigration. And in the end, there wasn't anybody at this protest. It was just one person who was ahead of it that was there by himself. And so Lucy and a bunch of other characters like laughed and like, oh, haha, ha, we are better than that. I was like, no, that's not how racism works out in the real world. Like this is really nice, but racism just doesn't disappear like that. There's still a lot of racists in this town. They're just at this moment pretending that they're better than that. This was just really tough to read. So overall, I actually thought this story was tedious. I thought it was campy. I don't think Leslie Meyer's style of writing is for me, so I will not read anything else by this particular author. I'm, I'm still gonna give other cozy mysteries a try, but uh, I think that's enough ranting. I think I've roasted this bird plenty at this point. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I guess it's ta-ta for now. Bye, guys.